Today's the 22nd of October 2020. It's only about one degree out here, maybe two. It's very sunny, but there's a little bit of a north wind and it's quite cool on the fingers. I have quite a few of my hives don't have my my patented polystyrene panels on and I'm here to do some of that today. I don't have enough panels. I need to get back to the hardware store and get another sheet of this stuff. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to put panels on the sides and the backs. Because if by some chance I need to move these indoors before the fronts get done, that's okay. I can do the fronts in the barn or whatever. Once they're in the barn, it doesn't really matter if they're done or not. I don't like to leave the bees here colder than about minus 10. And the ones that are wrapped in the polystyrene, I'm not as worried about, but there's a lot that aren't. So that's what I'm doing here today. And uh, probably not very interesting, but you know, I'll show you what I'm doing. So what I've got here is I've cut some panels. I'm most interested in doing the, the back part of the hive. Uh, and this is a small one because these are nukes. These are six frame nukes. And I need to do the sides. And these are a couple that were taken off there, a, a top panel. So I'll put those on as well. And uh, so that's uh, the fun and games that's happening here today. All right, I don't have enough side panels. Uh, I've got lots of fronts and backs for the nukes, but I don't have enough side panels. So I'm going to put the backs on these. This is just a, it's a little dimpled washer. It's kind of nice. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's got a little dimple on it, which works out quite well. I'll often preload these screws with washers, but today I haven't done that. I'm going to just put is going to be blowing my panels. I've got them distributed here in the apiary and you can hear them falling on the ground now. Oh well, that's what happens, right? All right, so these are 11 inches wide and 8 inches tall and they should fit these sixes just perfectly. <laughs> Everything's falling down. Hey, okay, look at it go. Whatever. Don't get too concerned because once it's on the ground, it can't fall any farther. It's rather cool on the fingers out here. You don't need two screws to hold it on, but you need two to stabilize it so it doesn't twist. If there's only one screw, it would go round and round like a windmill. So overall, this summer I've managed met most of my hives with these panels installed. Uh, I've not hated them too much. There's definitely some downsides management wise. Little things like it's hard to see the entrance just from standing, you know, you're bending down and look at the entrance. There's a drone, didn't make it. Poor fella. And uh, just just little things like that. I'm gonna put the fronts on. Oh, we're causing some bearding here. That's interesting. I'll 
they don't take exception to me. that clattering of the impact. I'm going to have to leave those. There's a bit of a beard here that you can't see. But I'll do this top. Do this quickly because the bees are right there. I wouldn't bother doing this top but it's a pre-cut piece so I'll do it. Okay. And there's another top here. do here really until I can put the fronts on here I don't have side pieces need to go back to the store and I'll move on to some others here's one with the tops already installed but no sides No sides, no front and back. I've made these pieces eight inches tall. I initially made them eight and a half. I found that was just a little too tight management wise. I wanted a bit more space. This one's been used before. I'm going to turn it the other way out. Uh, the sun always damages the polystyrene. This is again not a, a fully baked solution. It's kind of an experiment. So these really should be painted. But I'll, uh, I'll do that later. I'll cut up some. Once I know exactly what I want to do here I'll cut up some nice new pieces and paint them First ones I made, I had the panel long enough that it would overlap here. Actually, I made the backs longer, but it doesn't matter. And uh, that was causing one little management issue, 
and it was an unnecessary use of material an inch and a half more material used so now I just leave that corner that doesn't suit my OCD very well but a lot of things don't learn to live with it okay my other screwdriver it wouldn't do that chattering sound which does work them up a little bit let me get these uh, countersunk just a little because I'm going to stack these so there's going to be a pallet runner sitting here and if it sits on that screw it might slide around there's not that much contact area there so this one's done the fronts are not done again I don't have enough material to do everything and uh, you see the beards are gone on this one now I should have sat in the house where it was warm put all my screws together it sure goes a lot faster when they're pre-installed on the washers I guess you might say that the other way around. The washer's pre-installed on the screws. That's okay. Considering getting a couple of brood minders just to check on the temperature stability. Maybe leave a few colonies as controls. Maybe put a couple of brood minders in there. Put brood minders in a couple of the polystyrene clad units. Just to get some visual on how that goes. One change I want to make with my implementation is I want to use three quarter inch on the top. Um, I'm using one inch all around right now. And it causes a quarter inch lip here. Just a little bit of a management pain. I found I can set my smoker on here without it damaging the polystyrene. But I found I'm often trying to set the smoker on that edge and it kind of falls off. So that's one change I think I'll make. I can see my parts all over the place here. Don't take much of a breeze, this stuff doesn't weigh much. Thankfully, you know, that would be a management problem if whatever I'm doing made these hives weigh a lot more. And this stuff certainly doesn't.
And that's the back. I'm desperately lacking in side pieces. I sure hope I can put them on before they go in the bark. They don't have to be in there for winter, but putting them on in the spring would be a lot worse. I'm trying to do them while I move bees out. I'm trying to do them outside in the spring and having them on when they come out, that's kind of much of the point, right? So they should be on there. sides and not as many of these little ones because I've got enough pieces for the nukes to do both front and back I was just using up my leftovers from last year and last spring when I started this whole Project. Well, that clattering does cause some bearding for sure. You don't care for it at all. Come right out, see what's going on. It's all a racket. Keep it down out there, they say. Don't come out and sting you. Which they are, they're starting to fly. Fly at this temperature, you know it's serious. Another example, you know, we just know that the bees never think about themselves. Think about the other bees. They don't even consider that it's too cold to fly. They come out to protect, protect the hive. As long as they don't get too serious about that whole protecting the hive idea. Roberts and screws, you know, the great thing about them is they hang on real good, and the bad thing about them is they hang on really good. Sometimes you get Robertson screwdriver on the screw and you can't get it off. But if you're using Phillips screws and you've never used a Robertson screw, boy, you're missing something. You're missing something. Yeah, you use a Robertson screw, you'll never go back to a Phillips. Ever. Phillips head was the worst thing ever invented for screws. Well, it wasn't. It, it was built for a reason. It was built the way it is for a reason. It was built to cam out when it was tight for speed of the installation. You could just crank on it and the bit would pop out when it was tight. But for general purpose, doing stuff like this, that's not what you want. You know, and screws, a lot of times the head will break off before it'll strip the head. Oh, come on. This one's kind of narrow. 
Ooh. Be careful because you could drive that right through that polystyrene. So I think you've seen enough of this. It's pretty boring and it's kind of cold. So I'm going to shut that off. I'm going to wish you all a good day. Stay safe, stay well, take care of your bees. And I wish everybody a good winter and make it a great day and have fun.